So, ladies and gentlemen, writing the equation of the line. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Right? We need to figure out a value of X, a value of Y, and we need to figure out what uh, M is. So these are our three unknowns. Does everybody agree? OK. Well, those are the three unknowns to write the equation of the line we need. We're going to keep the y, these y and x. So yes, we can say x1 is basically this x here, which is 2. To find y, basically what we're going to do is go back into our function, y equals ln of 2x. And let's do y sub 2 to figure out what y is. So y sub 2 is equal to ln of 4. So we could say y1 is ln of 4. Basically, I'm finding the value of x. To find the value of y, Andrew, basically what you'll do is you'll take y or take x, plug it into the function, and find y, which is right here. And I'm just, I'm just relabeling x and y as x1, y1, because that's what we'll plug in. The last thing we need to do is figure out what m is. Well, remember, m is our derivative, right? We could say m is equal to y prime. So if we have y equals ln of 2x, y prime, first of all, let's use the properties of logarithms. I'll do ln of 2 plus ln of x. Now, to find y prime, that becomes 0, and that's going to be plus 1 over x. So y prime equals 1 over x. Now, I know what, I guess let's actually put that away. It actually doesn't need to be. Yeah, the ball addicts. That's, that's not a part of the lesson today. So we know what y prime is. We found that we have x. We used x to find y. And now we know what y prime is. So now we just plugged it into our equation. So we have y minus y1, which is ln of 4, equals m, which is 1 over x, times x minus my given x is 2. And if it was open response, we would just leave our answer as that. We won't need to simplify it any further. However, we notice if it was a multiple choice test,